All right, so here we have the ab oral surface, and we're going to actually do part two, internal anatomy. And in order to do this, I actually had to use scissors, and I cut off the tip of the ambulacral arm right here. And then I cut up the edge of both sides. And then I actually cut around the central disc. And I made sure to then do kind of a little curvature right around the madripoor right here uh, in order to not damage the water system. So that means we're going to be able to hopefully see what's inside. So I'm going to rotate this just a bit. And let's take a look at what's inside. So as I pull up the arm, I'm going to use my probe to pull down the organs that are kind of sticking to this top surface just a bit here. See if I can get it there. And as I fold back the arm, you can see that there are these two, don't turn the light on, these two organs that are kind of lying in the arm of the sea star there. Now the other thing I want to point out is that this is the inner wall of the body cavity or coelom and it kind of has a shimmer or a sheen to it. And that's because their body cavity is actually lined with a layer of epithelium that seals the body cavity just like it did in the segmented uh, worm, the earthworm, and just like it does in us. And this layer is known as the peritoneum. All right, so now I'm gonna pull back a little bit further and we'll see what's in the center area of the animal. I gotta make another little snip here. Hopefully angle this a bit to the side. And as I angle it to the side, you can see that there is this tiny circular space here that was created by a membrane. Now this thin membrane is actually creating a chamber, kind of like a dome of a tent. And it's really thin like the dome of a tent. And that chamber is going to be a chamber that does, uh, doesn't do mechanical digestion, but actually does chemical digestion. And in a sea star, we actually call this stomach chamber the pyloric stomach. So because the upper wall of the pyloric stomach is fused to the upper epidermis and body wall, when I take this central disc off, I'm going to rip off the top of the pyloric stomach. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I've removed now the top central disc. Now you can see that I have this kind of membranous fold here, and that's actually still the membrane of the pyloric stomach. So if I pull that back, what's actually laying under this creamy tissue that's just a little bit thicker in texture is this kind of flower-like appearance, and this is actually the lower stomach that's really muscular, and it's known as the cardiac stomach. And so this would be the cardiac stomach that's underneath the pyloric stomach. Now the other thing we need to point out is what was in the arms. So in the arms were these two brownish, dark greenish structures that were laying in the top of the arm. And they're referred to as the hepatic cecum, also known as the pyloric cecum. Now cecum means a tube that leads nowhere, kind of like a blind tube uh, like a cul-de-sac in a neighborhood. So it's a tube, tubular organ that doesn't really have a pathway through it. Now, these are known as pyloric cecum, and they have running through the middle of them a pyloric duct, which would actually drain right into the chamber in the middle, which would have been the pyloric stomach. So their function is going to definitely be related to what this um, stomach has to do. So they're going to help the stomach do its job. Now if I remove them from the arm and I get all that hypo that cecum material out of there and this these sea stars I have this year are pretty juvenile they're pretty young so we'll see but what should be laying underneath here in the bottom of both arms should be the gonads. And this is a juvenile because the gonad tissue is not clear. So I'm going to show you another one that actually is a little bit further along in its sexual maturity. And that would be this one here. Now this one here, if you look in the bottom of the arms, 
I took out the big kind of frilly green hepatic pyloric cica, and what I see is a creamy colored organ, one here at the base of the arm, and one on this side at the base of the arm. And those two would be the gonads. All right, so going back, what we now want to make sure is that we can find the madreporite. Um, actually, oops, sorry. OK, yes, so we also need to show the ossicles. So the ossicles are actually going to be this whitish colored material that's weaving underneath the skin. So even from a cross-sectional slice, if I turn the animal, you can see there's this white, hard material that's going around the coelom cavity. And that is the bone material, and it's known as ossicles, and it's part of the endoskeleton. Okay, I'm going to stop this video here, and then we'll go back into the water system next. Oh, sorry, one more thing. So in order to show the water system, we're going to actually so I can find my instrument. We're going to need to take out this stomach, the cardiac stomach. So I'm going to grab it with my tweezers here. I'm going to pull that big cardiac stomach right out of the center of the animal. And over here by our madrepore, I've got to be really careful not to damage the water system when I do this. Now this is what I'm trying to remove right now is actually the base of the cardiac stomach, it's the bottom membrane. All right, and by removing all that stomach matter, we can actually now see the water system, which will be in the next video. All right, thanks.